After the capture of Mariupol by Russian troops in 2022, the city was left in ruins. Local residents whose homes were destroyed are now deprived of their own housing and are forced to live in poverty despite the promises of the occupiers. New buildings erected on the site of destroyed houses are sold and not given away for free. This was reported by the Telegram channel Ukraine365. Participants in a small rally where residents of Mariupol recorded an appeal to the occupation authorities said that they have been living in difficult conditions for two years without their own housing. They said that the occupation authorities are ignoring their property rights, although their apartment building had previously been privatized. One of the women emphasized that pensioners and children are suffering, as well as young people who are forced to live in inhumane conditions. She also added that at the time of retirement, she considered herself well off, but now she's left with only a backpack and cannot survive on the payments provided by the occupation administration. In conclusion, the protesters expressed their outrage at how they were being deprived of the right to housing, which they had long considered their own, emphasizing that their home was well kept and an example for all of Mariupol. A refugee from Mariupol exposed Russian propaganda that spreads information about the allegedly rapid restoration of the city through paid bloggers. In fact, the occupation administration of Mariupol made the city's native residents homeless, depriving them of housing. The man, who still communicates with his acquaintances from the city and knows the real situation, recalled that before the arrival of the Russian army in 2022, the city was rapidly developing and flourishing. However, Russia's bombings have effectively destroyed the city where, according to the most rough estimates, about 2,600 multi-story buildings and thousands more private homes have been destroyed. However, Russian propaganda does not talk about this. People who lived on the left bank in Mariupol were thrown out onto the street. Their houses were demolished and the land was given over for development, the man said. Now, the Russian occupation administration is demolishing damaged houses and allocating land for development where they will settle people from Russia. Israel's military continued its latest raid of Tulkarem refugee camp Wednesday in the northern West Bank, digging up roads and patrolling the area. The operation in Tulkarem began Tuesday afternoon. Two Palestinians have since been killed by Israeli fire according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. The raid comes amid a series of operations across the northern West Bank by the Israeli army, targeting refugee camps in Tulkarem, Jenin and Tubas. Earlier Wednesday, an Israeli airstrike killed five people in Tubas according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. The Israeli military said it was targeting militants in the northern city. The health ministry confirmed the toll but does not say whether those killed by Israeli fire are militants or civilians. Israel has stepped up military raids across the territory in recent weeks and says it is working to dismantle militant groups and prevent attacks. Palestinians say such operations are aimed at cementing Israel's seemingly open-ended military rule over the territory. Violence has flared across the West Bank since the Israel-Hamas war erupted in Gaza last October. More than 680 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli fire in the territory since then, the health ministry says.